Hi folks, this is DoomQC89 and welcome back to Subsistence for another video for the, well, the second video from the series I'm making for uh, some guides and tips and tricks uh, for Subsistence English, English versions. So uh, last, last stream, no, not stream, what, whatever, <laughs> last video. Uh, was uh, the day one video so how to survive and thrive in the first day on a new game so since then we played a few days so we're gonna talk today about what you got to do in the early days so let's let's say around the 10 first days uh something like this so uh what we're gonna talk about today is Gonna be we can split it in two categories basic basically it's gonna be uh building up your arsenals and tools and things like that helping you uh, survive uh in a better better way and uh, the other one is establishment or building your base ah oh boy i fell down the rock ah um, so yeah, th that's two big aspects of the <clears throat> of the early days. Um, we're gonna build our base in here uh, directly, but we're not we're not forced to build our base and where we put our uh, our, fir our, our first base, our first uh, uh, fire. Not it's not really a base. Uh, what I've done, I think I did it during the episode, is I built a foundation. This is really useful uh, all the time, but especially during the night, so you can climb over it, just jump over it, you put it a little bit higher of the ground, so the animals can't come and grab you. Wolves gonna get scared as soon as you get on the foundation, and bears gonna, worst case scenario, they're gonna come and smash, smash, it, smash the foundation one time and run away after, uh, after that. So. Um, yeah, the other thing I built is a chest, which is a great idea just because, well, if I happen to die, which which is gonna happen in the early days, it happened to me, because uh, I wasn't paying, paying attention, that it, it happened to me uh, when in the French version, because I badly managed my stamina. So yeah, this is gonna happen, so if, you're in normal difficulty you're gonna lose a part of what you have on you but you won't lose what's in the chest so leaving as much stuff as i can in the chest as i can is is a great idea just to progress faster get more get more loot to uh, to use after war so Let's talk about, well, I think I'm going to talk about the tools and stuff before we talk about building the base. But I just wanted to say, well, I'm going to build a base here. Uh, we're in the valley, the region I said go to the east of the map. So that's pretty much where we spent most of our time, but I went further away in some uh, direction. Um, discovering the map, but yeah, basically. Um, What I would suggest, uh, the, 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 I have a video, but still it's in French about what to think about about for building. So I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later. Uh, where to build, I mean. Uh, but what I want to go for first is the tools. So like I said in the uh, day one video, I will normally not do the pickaxe on day one, not grabbing the minerals, but in the early days, like day two or three, of course I have a pickaxe with me, depending on how much scrap metal I find, because uh, I need four of those, four planks and four, uh, uh, two cordage to make uh, a pickaxe. And this is my second one, unfortunately, I broke my first one. Uh, what you want to do is to use it because you can't repair those tools, the the pickaxe and the, the axe can't be repaired. Um, so you want to use them 
up to almost they 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 are destroyed when they are almost destroyed. I mean, and uh, you can put them in the box in a crate afterwards and keep them for uh, something later. Uh, you can transform those items in a different resource later. So you want to, to, to do that. So I've been, yes, I did my pickaxe because I want to be able to get some uh, minerals and stack them before. I can't use them yet because I need to refine them, but at least I'm, I'm making a stock for when I'm gonna need them. Uh, the other thing I can suggest is going for a fishing, uh, for fishing. So either the fishing rod, which I personally don't do because I, uh, well, in this game, I really don't like fishing. It's, I think, a waste of time, monumental waste of time to me. Uh, but, well, some people like it. So whatever, you do what you, you, do what you want. Um, what I prefer is doing fishing traps. I did some already. So all you need is four sticks, so four log, and uh, four cordage, which, mean, which means uh, eight uh, fiber plant. So why do I, what's the advantages of both of them? Because they, are, they all have advantage. <coughs> the traps are passive, so they're gonna grab some fish a bit randomly. Uh, while you're not there, so you you need to be away from the traps. So building your traps close by to your base, uh, putting your traps close by to your base is not the best thing. I'm gonna do it right here just to to show you uh, how the, this thing works. Uh, but at least where while I'll be close by, there's not gonna be any fish going in the traps. You need to to be away for this to happen. So. Just to show you, you put it in your bar, you install them, you need to be in the water under a certain level. I like to put them in the sand where I can uh, see them easily. And you need, you have two kinds of baits. It's either rotten food, rotten meat, or those white tree grub. Tree grubs are pretty much essential for all this fishing because you're gonna need them if you want to fish with the fishing rod, you're gonna need them to make the tackles, which is gonna be consume every fish you get. The advantage with that is it's that it's passive. I don't need to waste time. I can do other things and go anywhere else during the time they get fish. Um, they're gonna they're gonna be destroyed destroyed after a few days if you don't repair them. Uh, but what I tend to do is not repair them, just scrap them, get out the resource back and build another one instead of repairing them. I think it's less, it's more cost effective. So uh, the advantage of the fishing rod is you're going to be able to, uh, to, to, to get more than just the small fishes. Because you get in the, in the traps, you're going to have the small fish and the... Um, it's not the lobster, it's the small craw crawdad, I think you call crawfish, whatever. Um, those kind of mini lobsters. <laughs> I don't know what the name of it is. I never looked at it, but whatever. Um, while the fishing rod, you can, with the fishing rod, you will be able to grab some, uh, some salmon and some other kind of big fish gonna give you more than just a small fish the reason why I prefer to use the traps is because I use a small fish to make uh, fish oils for all medicinal items uh, instead of mostly it's not for for the f the, the meat on small fish you can either get the either get the meat meat or the oil not both but I think there's enough meat in the world to uh, to not need the fish the uh, yeah so don't need to to get the fish for the meat um, other tools I think uh, you should do is maybe build a few fire starting kit to have in your inventory another thing that I should have right now is I'm gonna make one right now is um, uh, how do you call that unatel unatel which is a splint yeah a splint so uh, you can build a splint from your inventory, but I'm gonna show you a secret recipe. 
Well, there's a few of those in the game that are not in your uh, that are hidden and uh, you're not, they're not in your list you can do that are better so if you want to build a spunk you need a bandage and a stick I'm gonna build some stick right now um, why not more there you go but and if you want to do a bandage you need two of those cloth pieces but if you take the stick and cloth and you mix it mix them in your inventory directly you can craft a splint for half the price yeah well almost half the price half the cloth for sure but yeah basically that that's a big big deal you can do the same thing i would i think i was talking about it if you have uh, blueberries and you have a water bottle the plastic water bottle not the canteen uh, you can mix those and the advantage of this is you have water that uh, give you more hydration and more uh, more fruit and veggies than the basically the two item combined give you more resources uh, more uh, more nutrition than the two items separately and uh, it's non-perishable so it's non-perishable so that's great too because you uh, especially in the early days because uh, harvesting some fruit and veggies and without uh, with the, the with the expiration system well it's it's a bit of a pain so that's pretty much the tools you can get there's also well there's also well the weapons what can you do in early days you can go for the shotgun that's a really really useful tool especially for hunting uh, animals run towards you uh, when they get closer you shoot them in the face uh, it does a massive massive amount of damage and you are pretty much safer than using just your pistol or your bow so that's a great choice the other thing i'm going to do today also is uh thinking of clothes so you can do you can't do everything with the clothes uh in the early days but what you can do for sure oops wrong button is to go well you can do the t-shirt light t-shirt and you can go up to medium for a t-shirt and pants for sure with easily it, all you need is a cloth uh, feathers and uh, cordage so and the reason why you want to do the lightweight before is because uh, now it, it wasn't always like this but now you uh, you can uh, you need the the lightweight to transform basically in the medium and the medium into the heavy uh, while you go for the heavy clothes there's items you can't scrap right away so you need iron, uh, iron fragments which means basically refined iron and you need the refinery for this and we don't have this for that we're gonna need to uh to build a base before we can do that so i think i'm gonna hunt myself a wolf because i need the meat right now do i have enough arrows I have three okay that's barely enough um and there's one because i'm in need of protein right now i don't have much stuff stocked so and i'm gonna show in the same way pretty much every let's let's make a shortcut to the french version of this video uh of the animals habits well if you're gonna feel me i'm just gonna growl once growl twice and at the second one he's gonna uh, come towards me by walking if you get close by he's gonna start running and about hunting them well what I do is with the bow I'm gonna shoot them once shoot them tr twice if I'm all right uh, if I didn't waste time there I could have been able to do twice before and then I'm gonna wait while he growl to turn back it's when he's like swiping to try to attack me just turn back and shoot him in the face. Boom, we're good. So I can do that with pretty much... I can do that with the bear. It's pretty much the same thing. I can do that with the cougars, except, uh, well, the cougars run much faster and they come... There's less time between 
they're attacking the time they start to run away uh, run at you again so it's pretty dangerous with a cougar so well that's basically the, the best way simplest way to uh, to take them out so let's go see for the for, just for shits and giggles uh, the traps there's nothing in there for now of course we haven't been very far and for a very long time but like you can put them in a in a, in a, a pond or a lake and come back every day the good thing now with the those traps and what make them work well is the problem was they catch a fish the fish is like dead in the trap and he start uh, the countdown until he rot but when he rot he makes rotten food so if you don't come and get him while you uh, while he, while he's fresh you'll at least get back the bait that you put in so in a way you're you're not wasting much except the you're uh, like uh, breaking your the duration the life duration of your your trap so i'm gonna make a few um a few uh, fire starting kits that's gonna be useful i'm gonna start fire right now uh, just to cook the meat while i'll be building our base or well at least the beginning of our base uh oh, i want to make the clothes first okay so i'm gonna make t-shirt at the very least let's start with that i don't have many fibers in this run don't i that could be a problem so as the beginning of a base the main piece is the base command unit the bcu i'm gonna call um this is basically your uh what determines your your zone of your base it's gonna be a, a, a crafting station of sort there's a lot of stuff you can do inside of it and at the same time it's your first energy and mass generator so that's two new resources that we're gonna be we're gonna need to craft some some stuff in the future um the minimal minimum stuff you need to do to be able to put your bcu well it's basically well, having the resource for your bcu so i'm gonna need six uh, well, six uh, scrap metal four of those uh, electronics component electrics component whatever and four planks i'm gonna craft it right now and what i need to is a, a wall basically a, a foundation and a wall because you need to put the base on the wall which needs which need to be on a foundation so at the minimum i'm going to need to have a foundation a wall and a bcu it can be you can i mean i'm building a full wall but in a worst case scenario we can make a quarter wall and put the bc on it if you want to have it like as soon as possible um there i don't suggest well maybe if i, I it could happen i mean you can have all the resources you need to craft your uh, your bcu and install it day one it's not gonna be likely let's say but it's possible i suggest maybe you put it like day three or four or something like that uh but the advantage of putting it sooner than rather than later and well what's let's just say what's going to impact uh when you put your bcu well first as soon as you put your bcu the positive thing is you're going to start produce energy and mass which like i said is going to help you build some new stations and stuff and you're going to be able to craft more stuff uh, get better weapons get better gear uh having some station to uh, get some resources uh, like the refinery by for example the uh, downside is as soon as your BC, the BCU unit, uh, when you install it, this is when the countdown for the spawning of the hunters happen, happens. So if you don't have hunters enable, or you intend to play without the hunters, it has zero downside to put the BCU down. Like soon it's gonna be a message that's gonna tell you me, uh, the hunters are gonna spawn soon basically 
I'm gonna cook this because I'm starving. I'm kind of starving. There you go. In the next few days, hunters will start moving into the world. Exactly. And they're gonna. There's gonna be. I'm gonna talk about hunters probably having a video ex especially about this, how to fight them and everything. But uh, there, there's gonna be two types of hunter at the surface of the world. The the rogue they call, which are moving hunters, and those who the regular hunters, which are gonna build bases like us, and gonna stand there in their own turf. The rogue are gonna be nomads. I, I tend to call to call them nomads because they they're moving all the time. Uh, each almost every day they they move in a different spot. So that's basically it. Um, and my meat is cooking. I need to get there before it's burned. There you go. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh, yeah. There was this, uh, the lockpick uh, in the in your first BCU. So, what I'm going to say it's about the first BCU. The first BCU got two things that other BCU won't have. And when I say first BCU, let's just, let's pretend you play in multiplayer game. Every player first BCU. So you play like four of your friends, you can put five BCU. That's gonna be able to uh, a give you a lock pick for free. I believe it's not just the first one in co-op. Uh, but in, in in any case, your first BCU is gonna give you a pick lock. What's really important? It's Every player's first BCU is gonna be giving you uh, energy and uh, mass. There you go, you got your counter there. So that's your energy. It shows I'm getting in 0.33 per second energy, so one every three seconds. And uh, mass is uh, 0 0.07 per second. Uh, up to a limit of 500 so there's a way there's those storage unit there it's gonna be making you able to get more energy and mass because if you go like let's see the fridge for example fridge costs 1.2 K energy I can't I can't build it right now I'm gonna need to get some power storage unit so the BC the BCU is nice because it's give you free energy and free mass no cost, no, no cost, no fuss, and um, but till a limit of five hundred and a hundred respectively. So for energy and mass, so that that's a big deal. Uh, it's gonna change uh, how the. It's gonna give you a lot of options because let's go see a little bit. Uh, well, you can do lock picks there, of course. There's lightings. Uh, options there's the wood burner the refinery a bed which is useful to um, well the bed is basically a spawn point if you you can put some like extra life if you want like mario bros <laughs> but uh in it you can purchase some spawn points which gonna make you spawn in your bed instead of randomly around the map so because if you die i'm gonna spawn randomly around the map like if you say so i died the other day preparing for this video i died and i spawn right there so that's what i came back there so sometimes you spawn in a bad location far far away from home or just the worst is spawning just before night uh you're gonna have to run to your to get back your corpse or to your base uh, while it's cold out, out there. So that can be a big problem. Um, what else there is? There's a, fl a plant bed, there's a animal housing, generator, a workbench, which is, which is another crafting station. And there's the fridge, stove, oven, I mean, whatever. And all those stuff. There's a lot of things I can build here. And they all need, or pretty much all, need uh, energy and mass to build. So that's the new, the new uh, res uh, re resources. So as soon as I get the BCU, I can start uh, creating energy and mass. So I can earn, I can uh, build uh, other stuff earlier as well. So that's like okay. 
the faster the faster you put it down the faster you can be you're gonna be able to use the, the energy um because for now there's no other way to to get to go faster this is gonna be i mean there's there's a lot of energy and mass generation uh, items but for now that's all i've got so as soon as i got this and while i'm at the sub in the subject of the early days what do i want to build uh first basically with the bcu for me it's always uh wood burner first and that kind of sound illogical because i have already a fire i can i don't really need the the, the wood burner but the wood burner is as uh, is gonna let me cook my food like the fire but the other thing is it's gonna be burning fuel way uh, slower it's gonna give me more ashes so i can use this as a as a plant bed fertilizer and um, i can also transform the animal fat in uh, in biofuel so that's pretty much all the advantages of this uh, so-called famous uh, whatever uh, wood burner sorry i was looking for the word uh, the second one I will go for is the plant bed generally because I can start put my seeds in the in the in the, in the soil and getting uh, getting a fairly uh, stable uh, source of uh, fruit and vegetables. That's pretty much my two first choices. After that, I would go for uh, upping my stockage ability so using some storage uh building some storage or getting the generator to build up more uh energy faster so that's that those kind of things um you can go for the bed early also if you're uh if you're if you're dying a lot and you're kind of sick of running away to you running back to your corpse if you want to keep playing in the in the uh, in a close by area because I let's say I I'm gonna go around in the day looting around my base not going too far and uh, I'm dying and I spawn back at the complete opposite of the map and I, I don't know the map yet that would be interesting to be able to spawn back in my bed So basically the choice is kind of yours, but uh, there's stuff that are really more useful than others. With the with the fruit and veggies that got expiration date on them, uh, as well as your meat. Um, now the I tend to go for the fridge uh, as soon as possible. It's going to save me a, a lot of trouble. But basically, I'm gonna check there every day, and when I'm ready to get uh, to build uh, the station that I want, or when the energy is full, I don't want to wait uh, too long. I want to use it because when it's not producing, it's wasting basically. So that's pretty much what's gonna be happening. And about the hunters, they're gonna tend to spawn uh, not too far around the first bcu you place so one trick some people do because i can dismantle this there's no problem and i can put it back elsewhere and build elsewhere there's not nothing that's gonna force me to group to be grounded here if i want to go uh, to the other side of the map and build my bcu you can only have one bcu that's going to be able to produce energy and mass though the other one you can place but the the one that is considered the first one you placed uh well your number one bcu let's say it's it's more accurate uh is gonna be producing mass so if you destroy it down then the second one's gonna be able to uh, to produce uh, energy and mass so you won't be able to produce with uh, more than one but let's say uh, I want to have the hunters out of my way. I put this BCU somewhere around the map, like the opposite. Then I wait for them to spawn and I come back and I put it where I want it to be. That's a trick you can use. I, I think personally it's, it's, a, it's a bit wasteful, but 
it is possible because uh, I don't think I, I said that we can either uh, delete or move your pieces of building um, well to delete them it's normally delete you're gonna see disassembling it's gonna give you back half the resources you put in them so you don't lose everything but you can uh, use end and just move them there's a certain range you can go to with that uh, it's gonna be simple when you're too far oh it disappeared it's not in your hand anymore but if I want to uh, let's say uh, move this piece there and put uh, another kind of wall with a window in it and I just say like oh, let's put that there it's as simple as that so building structure it's not uh, it's really wasteful if you're not sure you're gonna be using them or you're gonna be destroying them later that doesn't really matter you're gonna be able to do it so I'm just gonna wait for 450 to spawn and I'm gonna be able to put my wood burner in it's basically the same thing as the fire it's gonna give you pretty much all the, the option except there's another tab where like this another tab where I'm gonna be able to put my uh, animal fat and transform it into biofuel Alright, so I'm gonna end this there for tonight. Uh, I hope uh, you uh, you learned something, you enjoyed this. If you got uh, any questions, anything, any subject you want me to uh, go on about, something you want to learn about in the game, don't hesitate to put this. Don't you put put your question in the comments. Till then, have a nice day. Have fun. It was Doom QC eighty nine. See ya. Ciao.